Greetings, everybody. This is Rich Wilkerson, and I want to welcome you to That's Rich. This is my weekly video podcast of encouragement. We've been doing this weekly That's Rich series for over four, almost five months now. During the past 12 weeks, I've been giving you a brief synopsis of each of the 16 chapters of my new book entitled Pray, Focus, Work, Repeat, The Christian's Guide to Mental Health. And this is book two in this collection of three books on the Christian's Guide to Mental Health. Today, we begin the last fourth section of the book entitled, Repeat. The truth is, when you find the keys to winning in this life, and in particular in this collection, you just repeat over and over what you've learned. That's what mature winners do. They just continue to repeat what they've learned. But when you are faithful to repeat that which has brought you success, there's always a new challenge when you faithfully repeat over and over what it takes you to be successful. The first challenge in this new chapter of the subject of repeat is simply, it's a long road. The most successful people in world history, many of whom I've studied understood that temporary success is really no success. Some people today are suffering from mental health issues because they were successful in their early life in some ways. But as time passed, they didn't understand you must keep growing, working, learning, and adapting because it's true that you either change or die in real life. I've learned that is why prayer and focus and work are so important. Because when you pray, God continues to open new avenues of opportunities to you that force you to grow. The challenge is without prayer, many people become like dead people walking. They are unwilling to change. They work, but they don't grow. The boredom shows up in their eyes quickly Things become same old, same old. You know what I'm talking about. However, the prayer part totally brings the God of the universe into your planning. I've known people who've worked the same job for 50 years and you think they were 25 years old the way they operate. Their eyes are sparkly. There's almost a hop in the way they walk and they attract people around them, not because they're a millionaire, but because they have purpose. Fresh daily devotions mean a fresh outlook on life. Their prayers have to do with the Lord helping them to meet someone today that they can help. They become servant leaders to whoever they meet. They don't live looking at the clock on their phone. In fact, they're shocked that it's time to go home at the end of the day. I married the most wonderful woman on the planet in 1973, Robin. And she wasn't finished with university yet, and neither was I. When we married, I promised her if she'd let me finish my schooling, I gave her my word I would help her finish her studies as well. She agreed. Well, we were only 20 and 19. I finished, and then God began to really bless our ministry, and I quickly soared to the top in my field. Then the kids started coming, and she didn't complain that she wasn't finished with school yet, but I couldn't shake my promise to her. Finally, the boys were all out of college except our youngest, who was a junior in college, when Robin came down the hallway to my office at the church one day. She looked at me and she said, I want to go back to school. I said, I want you to as well. She got into the university she had started in about 35 years earlier and finished. And then she said, I want to go for my master's degree. I said, I want you to as well. She finished. And then she said, I want to go for my doctorate. I said, I want you to go for your doctorate too. Guess what? It took her about 10 years 
but she did it. I was so happy for her. And she was like another person. She was already brilliant, but now she was another planet brilliant. A year later, I said, I want to get my master's degree. I was like 60. She said, do it. And I kept going because of her example. And I was able to go on and also get my doctorate as well. It took me right at six years, but I made it. Now, after God healing me from bone marrow cancer, we're getting ready to relaunch our original Trinity Church right here in Miami. We're both happy scared, just like when we were kids. Yes, we're in our 70s, but I feel 35, if you know what I mean. <laughs> For those of you who are young and winning right now, I want to say two things. First, it's a long road. To operate like a hamster on the wheel, just running in place all day is madness. Yet, because that's what life has become for so many, depression has set in. Prepare for the long road now. Some of the dearest people I met when I was young, we started out together and they thought it would always be this way. So they didn't upgrade at all. They had all the potential in the world, but in the process of living, life passed them by. So the first thing is, it's a long road. Here's the second thing. Life will be over before we know it. Every week almost, I receive word of another friend who finished the race and went to heaven. My father-in-law used to say, life is on your hands. What are you going to do about it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. St. Paul said it over 2,000 years ago in Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. But I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. You know, those words straining and press on speak of finishing strong. Yes, it's a long road, but it will be over before we know it. How do you want to live? I'll live straining and pressing on till I elevate all the way to heaven. Thank God. Let me pray for you. Dear Jesus, I thank you for my friend who's watching right now. I thank you that these words today have impacted my life for over 50 years. I pray that they are impacting my friend's life now. Lord, help us to continually pray, focus, and work. And after that, help us to keep repeating and upgrading everything you've called us to do until you call us home. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless.